Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's adventure, I'm heading out on the Loon Lake. I hear it's a busy little body of water, so let's go. everybody welcome back to the channel today I'm on Loon Lake and the lake goes down that way comes out here to the main body which comes over that way comes back this way but it is as you can see a very busy lake lots of wake here a bunch coming in at me right now so yeah this is the Loon Lake it's in uh, Chester Town, down above Lake George, it's nestled between the Strune and Hudson Rivers. Uh, Chester Town is what they call the crossroads of the Adirondacks. And uh, this place is a, seems to be, on first glance here, a vacation paradise. There is a lot of activity on this lake. A lot of activity. There's a lot of camps, a lot of houses. When I looked it up, there was a lot of. Uh, there was a lot of uh, VRBOs, Airbnbs, uh, home away rentals, out around you know, vacation, out around deck by owners, and, and all sorts of places. And it is. It's a very busy lake. I can see nothing but camps. There's really not much for woods in between. But anyways, uh, this uh, when I look this lake up, um, it did have a little bit of history on it about the uh, um, artifacts that were found when they were building houses and camps here that it was uh, they found bayonets and cannonballs and they were dated all the way back to the Indian French and Indian War and the American Revolution um, I believe I, I read at one time that there was a uh, trail for the military that came through here and that was in the uh, 
Sir John Johnson Trail from Johnstown to Lake Champlain. So I got a boat coming up behind me here, a little pontoon boat. I'm off to the side too, so. But uh, it is busy. It's a busy lake. Um, probably it's claimed that fame would have been um, 1892 uh, President Benjamin Harris, uh, his wife Caroline became extremely ill with tuberculosis and uh, back then the treatment the best treatment they thought back then was uh, the cool crisp air of the mountains and now the Adirondacks became one of the favorites and a matter of fact I've done videos on uh, TV sanitariums up on uh, Lake Kushakwa um, I did a video on Rabbit Island where Dr. Trudeau did um, experiments with tuberculosis that changed how changed on the treatment on how uh, they treated tuberculosis and anyways but she was brought here on Moon Lake um, 1892 July of 1892 the president stayed here for that first weekend but then he went to Washington because Congress was still in session and it was an election year and uh, and so he came back and Congress recessed in, in August and spent the month of August and into September here, but Carolyn didn't get any better. So they made the decision in September to take her back to Washington. And uh, right back then the trail, the rail system was the way to travel. And uh, they got her back to um, Washington where she died. I believe it was October 25th, 1892. She died and uh, two weeks later, uh, President Harris, Benjamin Harris, lost his re-election bid to an ex-president, Grover Cleveland. So, but when he was here, he loved the Adirondacks, and after his uh, presidency was done, he ended up building the camp on Second Lake over by Old Fort, and he spent a lot of time there. So, uh, Adirondacks is full of uh, this history of the presidents coming up here in, back in the 1800s, early 1900s. So pretty neat pretty neat that you know you don't realize that until you really look at it read up on a few things but uh, now Loon Lake is like I say a vacation area Airbnbs DRPOs home away a lot of boat activity a um, lot of activity here there's kayakers there's paddle boarders there's pontoon boats there's jet boats there's fishermen over here so a lot of activity on this lake a lot of activity and of course, the weather here, uh, as soon as I put the kayak in, about five minutes after I put the kayak in, I got rained on a little bit, but it has, uh, has stopped, but the clouds are still, clouds are, see the clouds here. Yeah, the clouds are still a little dark, but that's okay, I'm on the water. I can dry off the heat if I get rained on. But I'm going to paddle around some more and uh, see what I can see. All right, folks, you watched all the way through. Thanks for that. If you liked the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button down below. Continue to follow the adventure. And remember, folks, tomorrow is no guarantee for any one of us. So disconnect from that Wi-Fi. Connect to this out here. You won't be disappointed.